I never fancied myself an entrepreneur. I never expected to start a company. I honestly didn't really have any interest in it. But when I had the idea, I felt compelled to pursue it. My name is Derek Morris. I'm the founder and CEO of Rugged Robotics. I 100% from the very beginning was focused on solving a problem and I had identified layout as a meaningful problem. Layout is the process of translating a digital CAD design into the real world so that workers can install systems and equipment where they were designed to go, where they were intended to go. It had created so many headaches on the job sites that I worked on. So I iterated a couple of times on what it might look like and I thought of a layout Roomba. And I remember distinctly when I called my friend Jake and I said, Jake, I've got this idea I'm working on. It's like a layout Roomba. And the phone just went dead. And then Jake said, Derek, that would be game changing. And that was the moment I decided to push my chips into the middle of the table and go for it. Building a robot is pretty complicated. You start with an overall architecture. For us, it's a drive system, it's a printing system, it's a navigation stack, it's a bunch of sensors, and then you get out into the field and you test, and you find the failures, and you eventually, over time, iterate on the product until it's fully mature. When we heard about the Boost program, we were immediately intrigued. One of the most powerful value propositions is the connection with Suffolk Construction and the doors that it opens to actually pilot your platform on real job sites. You can't build something like this in a laboratory setting and expect it to work in the real world. You've got to be out there in the real world. That's where you learn those early pilot engagements and getting out there in the real world and figuring out where the edge cases are and where the challenges lie were able to give us the feedback we needed to really mature our thinking about the overall offering. And I know from our perspective, we learned a lot and we were able to address those. And now with our current platform, we're almost bulletproof. I'm really enjoying the journey. To me, this isn't about an exit. It's about enabling people that are doing the real work, the hard work. In 50 years, the industry is not going away. We will always need places to live and work and play. But the way that we build buildings is about to change. We're in the early days of that evolution. I'm super proud to be a part of it.